Welcome to TVD Electronics Center. Today we are here to show you how to make our own DC generator and power supply at home. We have already seen the component list. Okay, so let's start with our circuit diagram of our dual generator power supply. So guys, this is the complete circuit diagram of dual regulator power supply with constant 12 volt and 5 volt supply. Okay, so this complete circuit diagram is divided into the four types, four sections. First is the transformer section, second one is the rectifier section, third one is filter section and last is the filter reg regulator section. Okay, so in transformer section, we have used the 30 volt center tap transformer. After then, we have used rectifier section in which the four diodes are used and the diode number is 1N4007 this is the bridge rectifier circuit ok after then we have used the filter section in which uh, in which we have used the two capacitors and the value of capacitor is 2200 microfarad and which rating is uh, 20 sorry 50 volt ok after then we have used the four IC uh, out of these, the two IC are the regulator. These two IC are the variable regulator, and this is the constant uh, regulators. Okay, so this uh, 317 it is the IC which provides the positive variable power uh, supply, and after then this is the 337. This is the negative variable regulator IC. This is the 7812. 7812. This IC provides constant positive 12 volt. After then, see here again. This is the 78705. This IC provides us constant 5 volt. After then, here we have used the already two uh, two, uh, two potentiometer. Uh, the value of potentiometer is nothing but the 4.7 k, and here also 4.7 k. These both uh, potentiometer we have used for the to vary the our power supply. Okay, so in this way, this is the complete circuit diagram of our dual regulator power supply. This IC, guys. If you want constant negative 12 volt and negative 5 volt, then you have to only change the output connection with respect to ground of these both IC. Let's proceed towards the breadboard mounting section. Now we have completed the mounting process on the bridge board. Let's check the output of our circuit. Let's first check the output of LM337 IC. This is the negative voltage which will be vary according to our port. 
देन चेक द आउटपुट ऑफ एल एम थ्री थ्री सेवन सॉरी एल एम थ्री वन सेवन इट इज अ पॉजिटिव वोल्टेज देन चेक द आउटपुट ऑफ सेवन एट ट्वेल्व इट इज अ कॉन्स्टंट ट्वेल्व वोल्ट देन चेक द आउटपुट ऑफ सेवन एट जीरो फाइव इट हैज ऑल्सो कॉन्स्टंट फाइव वोल्ट फॉर निगेटिव ट्वेल्व वोल्ट जस्ट यू वॉज द कनेक्शन सीयर दिस इज अम निगेटिव ट्वेल्व वोल्ट सो गाइज इन दिस वे वी हैव चेक आउट द कनेक्शन सॉरी आउटपुट ऑफ दिस सर्किट गाइज यू आर ऑलरेडी सीन द ब्रेड वोल्ड माउंटिंग सेक्शन एंड आउटपुट ऑफ अवर सर्किट जस्ट नाउ प्रोसीड टूअर्ड्स द पीसीबी सेक्शन so guys in this way we have completed the total designing of our power supply so let's check the output of our power supply so see guys after switching the switching on the power supply there is a led which indicates the power supply is on so check the output one by one so guys first we will check the output of positive variable supply so make the connection and vary the pot so you can see there there will be the variation in voltage that is the positive voltage now we will check the negative supply make again connection as per requirement and again vary the pot so you can see there there is a change in negative voltage okay now let's check the output of 5 volt constant 5 volt connect the black color black color wire to the ground and red color to the positive so you can see there 5 volt constant 5 volt now check the 10 volt so guys in this way you have seen the 
all the outputs of our power supply so thank you guys thank you guys for watching this video and if you like this video then please share and like this video and you can subscribe to our channel to get our notification and please do not forget to press the bell button thank you